video tonight we've got Everton at Ellen Road it's a Tuesday night game it's our first midweek game in the league it's going to be a very close game Everton are fighting uh, at the minute they've only picked up two points from from four games they currently sit 18th obviously we currently sit fifth after a disappointing defeat to Brighton at the weekend hopefully today we can turn it all around pick up three points my prediction tonight is a 3-1 win for Leeds Everton's top scorer is Damari Gray and Anthony Gordon both with one goal each that being said let's get to ground hopefully pick up three points come on Leeds just a quick break from the video i've signed a partnership with invisible friend they're a clothing brand a completely independent english company it was founded 15 years ago they use quality organic cotton so the shirts just feel really good and also the printing's really good on them as well 
They make a range of shirts from things that people enjoy, such as football uh, shirts like this one with a stadium print on. They sell cricket shirts and they also sell shirts regarding music, cycling and even like City Skylines, which are pretty cool as well. They sell all sorts of different stadiums, uh, basically every professional team from England or Scotland. I know they've just released a new Wembley Stadium design. And also the shirt sizes range from extra extra small to four times XL. The shirts make a great gift for, for friends or family. All you need to do is use code Ethan15 at checkout and uh, it'll give you 15% off your entire basket. The uh, Ellen Road print is my favourite, especially in the white shirt with the blue, the blue stadium. They do also have a grey one with a white stadium. Please go check out the website, it will be in the top line of the description below. I'm sure you'll find something that you, you like. So yeah, on we go with the video.
So guys, a 1-1 one, one draw, um, a poor result, I'd, I'd say. First half, we were absolutely appalling. And second half, I don't know what Marsh said to him at half time, but they, uh, they kind of looked a bit more interested. It's a good job Bamford's back, really, because Rodrigo went off injured in the first half. I know there's only like a day left of the, uh, the transfer window, but um, obviously Rodrigo went off. They've said he's dislocated his shoulder. So hopefully that makes Kinnear, Horta and Radrizani finally realise that we do actually need another striker. But we also need a, someone who can actually whip the ball in from, from corners and free kicks. Because the last few games, Harry, well, I'd, I'd even say as far back as last season, Harrison just hasn't been been doing what he should be doing from corners. He's barely beating the first man and playing it too short or he's playing it far too long. But yeah, if only we started the game like we started the second half, I thought we'd have, we'd have got something more if we if we did that. So that result keeps us in fifth. Could possibly put us down to, I believe, about eighth if all the other teams uh, below that have got a game in hand win. But yeah, Sinistera got an absolute beauty of a goal uh, to make it the equaliser. But the finish itself actually reminded me so much of Rafinha's goal against Everton for his first goal. Uh, in the Premier League. With that being said, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, hit the like button below. Subscribe if you haven't already. We've got Brentford away on Saturday. Unfortunately, I've not got a ticket. Uh, and then our next home game is a week on Monday against Nottingham Forest. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Peace. <laughs>